guys, welcome back to Journey to the Farm. Uh, today we're going to move our goats to some better grass. They've been on this spot right here for about a month, and we like to move them to, to some fresh grass. That way they they uh, fertilize different area and also have some better grass to eat. So we're going to do that this morning and then probably work on the fence that later this afternoon. We've got a beautiful day today, so we're trying to just get some things done while it's pretty and not raining. So uh, stay with us and we'll just do some stuff around the farm. Okay, right now our goats are are uh, on one side of our farm and we're gonna have to, we've never done this before, but uh, we're gonna have to move them all the way over to that side. Uh, you can't see over the, the hill there too good to the grass, but it's, it's a lot thicker over there. So we've never done this before. So we're just going to have to take our time and uh, see how it goes. The plan is to catch the goats into the pen and then one by one transfer them over after we have our net up. Now, don't put it all over. Right on there. <laughs> they are not liking the pen. <laughs> over there in uh, their, their box and put it all up. And then we'll just come over here and grab them one by one and, and take them over there. Kenko brand. Uh, it seems to be doing really good. It's really tough. We've moved it a couple of times and it's still it's still intact real good. It helps. It's kind of aggravating at first because you have to measure off where you want your corners on which one you want to be a corner. But right now we have, uh, I don't know if you can tell, but like, like the ones that's corners have string on them so we can pull them tight so you know which one is a corner so it makes it a lot easier that way but uh we're gonna go ahead and try to put this up and then we'll go get our goats
do a slip knot, I think, around that Billy's horns and just pull them. Oh my gosh. Are we going to try to get them on the trailer or just drag them across the yard? Just one at a time. Oh my god. Okay, ready? Oh my gosh, this is going to be scary. <laughs> Now, no. Right here we got Halo and Hubert. And back there we have Louise and Levi. Scaring the poop out of them, <laughs> literally. Okay, get both of them. So is Halo. They're going to enjoy it over here much more. The grass is thicker. It's greener. I think they're really going to like is it. greener on the other side. Sometimes. <laughs> In this instant it is. Look at them eat that grass. Got your hot box hooked up and 
bringing her water now, so we are just about got them set up. So, I guess that's it for the goats. We're going to go probably work on the fence a little bit. Set our post in. I've got a string uh, down our fence line to the corner post here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but uh, that way I can keep this post in line with my other ones. concrete in there, hold our post in place. Alright, that's pretty good. We're going to dump the rest of our bag in there and then we can kind of fine tune it. Okay, it's pretty good. Now we're going to work on the race to go in between now. I'll have to run to the house and get it. Okay, I went and got my post. My little cross brace. I'm gonna measure probably probably right at four foot. gonna let that be to the top of the post because my wires is uh, probably it's close to 47 inches so I'm gonna let that be the top Post hadn't set up real good yet, so I just once I get this done, I'll uh, we'll leave this alone, and let it set. All 
right, that's gonna do it for this corner. I'm gonna let it set. I might clean some of this wire up and uh, then we'll go down to the other corner. I got one more post to put in and uh, I got a post to move so I might get to that today and I'm gonna move it to a different spot. Okay. I wanted to pick up some chickens that my stepdad's given us, so stay tuned. Yeah, it does. She says it stinks in there. Oh my gosh. Oh, where you gonna go? Oh, that was easy. One down. One down. <laughs> what? Put that on back the truck. I think that's a good idea. Put it on back the truck. Mm -hmm. Cardio. Surprised. It'd be interesting to see what Hank does. He may want to buy them. Well, we're going to keep them in a pen, ain't we? Yeah. For now. One down, three to go. I hear you. Gotta get low. Gotta get low. Did you get him? Yes. Get back in here. That little skinny one's gonna be hard to catch, probably. You want to, don't you? You want it to. You want it to, but I got you. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Did you get him? Yep. Her, I got her. Oh, okay. These are herses. Okay, we got our chickens in the... I put them in a little box right now until I unload the, the little chicken tractor. But I'm going to unload it, and then we'll put our chickens in. That way we can just let them... Pull them around the yard and let them eat uh, bugs and some grass and... Just some different things, so we're gonna try it out. They're pretty calm chickens, so pretty easy to catch. Uh, they're just laid back. I'm taking it easy. We had chickens before, uh, before we bought the farm, but uh, we had to to get rid of them. And now, uh, since we have uh, the land we do now. 
we're gonna get a few more and we love fooling with chickens and getting the eggs and and uh, having baby chicks and everything so uh, maybe there'll be some more in the future to go with these okay so for right now we're probably going to put them in this for uh, at night time uh, I'm going to find them a, a pole to roost on and then uh, the plan is when we get our goats moved up to the to the big pasture uh, we're going to use the electric poultry net for the chickens and uh, then we can get get more in there and uh, so that'll be good but for right now we're going to put them in this at night and on pretty days you know let them stay in the chicken tractor and uh, just pull them out around through here and eat bugs and stuff so I'm going to find them a roosting pole set up okay guys I'm sorry it's so far away but it's so wet in here I had to park the, the mule so far away from where I'm at but we're gonna do the same thing on this hole as we did in the other corner we're gonna put a little concrete in there uh, and then set our post and then come back and put our cross brace in. Post and get it in there and uh, cross bracing. We'll get it in there and just let this thing set. But it's extremely wet down here, it's just going to take a while for it to set up good and hard. Out. But uh, that's got that, and we're gonna let it set up, get good and hard before we start pulling any kind of fence on it. But uh, well, thank you for watching. Remember, click that like and subscribe button. Uh, we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. God bless.